High school quarterback Chris Oloduncan is hoping that his six-year college journey that started at USF will lead him to the NFL. ABC Action News sports anchor Kyle Berger shows us how Oladokun's belief in himself led to a dream come true. And that chip on my shoulder has been there since, uh, since I was in Little League. Former Sickles High School quarterback Chris Oladokun is ready to prove his doubters wrong. Just coach telling me I'd never be a, uh, a quarterback. He said I wouldn't be a high school quarterback, college, and then, you know, now I'm trained to be an NFL quarterback, so uh, I'd probably love to see what he's thinking now. Oladokun's lifelong dream to play in the NFL has never come easy. Six years in college is a long time. Uh, could have gone my doctorate at this point. He played in college at three different schools, South Florida, Samford, and South Dakota State. Didn't know where South Dakota was on a map. Literally couldn't locate it. A leap of faith in his final year of college eligibility could pay off a big time. Oladokun finally got the chance to be the starter. He finished the year with over 3,000 yards passing, 25 touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. He could be a draft day steal. I mean, I'd be lying to you if I didn't think, if I, if I didn't say I think I'm the best quarterback in the class. You know, you know, it's just that confidence that I've always had in myself. Even when you know, I was whether I was a backup or the starter, I always felt like I was the best in the country, and that's how I feel about the draft too. Now, now, he trains six days a week, field work in the morning, strength training in the afternoon. And I think it says a lot about me. Uh, you know, I never gave up, always believed in myself to the ultimate. A belief that started in Little League. So surreal. You dream of, I just remember, you know, begging my dad to go out in the front yard when I was little and just throw the ball around because uh, I always wanted to be an NFL quarterback. In Tampa, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.